What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about a new piece of equipment that we picked up for our lithium battery testing and that's going to be a 36 volt inverter. We need a pretty hefty inverter to be able to test out one of these batteries. One of, like for instance this 36 volt 55 amp hour battery is like 2.1 or so kilowatt hours of power. So to pull a full 1C discharge rate you need something that will pull more than 2000 watts and this inverter is going to do it. This is an AlioSign 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So a pure sine wave inverter you can use for like sensitive electronics. It gets you a nice ripple out of the, out of the inverter. Uh, it is at 60 hertz and it will pull a continuous load of 3000 watts. And it also will do a peak of I think 6000 watts. So a substantial amount of power can be put through this. More than enough to be able to test out one of these batteries and make sure the discharge rate is what you need. And also probably check the overcurrent conditions of the battery to make sure the BMS is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, it is, I mean, it's made for some high horsepower applications. You got cooling fans on the back. You got your pickup leads, positive and negative here on the back. And you also have two 110 volt uh, outlets uh, grounded. You have our LCD display that shows the voltage and the output voltage. You could hardwire something if you wanted to hardwire it directly to the inverter and you've got an on off switch. Uh, it comes with extra fuses if you needed to go through that, but you know, it is a pretty hefty piece of machinery. I think it's uh, about nine pounds. And let me get some rough dimensions for you. All right, let's see what it is. So it is, um, if you needed to use something like this, you need to package for about 15 inches or so, you know, plus the plug hanging off the back of it. Overall width here is somewhere in the seven and a quarter inch range and overall height is about uh, three and three quarter, give or take about a quarter inch, but overall, you know, it's a little bit bigger than like a group 30 size, 31 size battery. So let's go ahead and put a load on it. Alrighty, here's what we have set up. I know this looks a little bit crazy. We've got our main power leads coming off. Make sure that you expect some sort of spark when you first plug this thing in. It's going to charge the capacitors in it and it could arc pretty good. So kind of be prepared for that. What we have here is an inductive ammeter or a Hall, a Hall effect sensor. And that's going to this monitor, we're at 39.2 volts, zero watts and zero amps. And this is gonna monitor how much current we have. This is a 55 amp hour battery. So we should be able to pull up to 55 amps out of it at a full 1C discharge rate. We have two heat sources plugged in. This is a 1500 watt heater and a 1500 watt heat gun. The second one I'm gonna put on a variable load here so I can ramp it in and watch the discharge current. So let's go ahead and get going. We're going to turn on our first heater at full tilt. Okay, so we're pulling. Now this thing does quite a bit by itself. We got the fan came on here. We're pulling 64 amps, 2400 watts, and this will probably calm down a bit once it warms up. All right, so we're down to 1800, 1700, 47 amps. Now we're going to kick this one on, 45 amps. Let's see how it does. 71, 81 amps coming out of the battery, making a lot of heat. I'm just checking to make sure things aren't getting too hot. I'm gonna spool it up. Ninety-four amps coming out of the battery, thirty-three hundred watts. 'Cause it kicked out. So that was the protection on the inverter. So we totally peaked it out for a sustained load and it's coming back on. So there you go. I mean, we're pulling a ton of power through this thing. You can see it power cycled. Go ahead and kill these. So you can see that we fully loaded the inverter up and it protected itself, right? That is what it's supposed to do. It hit over 3000 watts, shut itself off, let it reset and it came back on and now we're back up and running. If we wanted to turn this stuff back on, it's doing its job, no problem. Nice job by the inverter. So again, that's just a quick look at our new toys. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I will put some links down in the description if you need such an inverter. Uh, this thing will certainly crank out a lot of power. It would be nice, right? If you're out camping or something, you've got a 36 volt battery in your boat, maybe you need to pull some power off of it. And this will certainly do that. They've got some 24 volt versions, uh, 12 volt inverters as well. Check out some of the links in the description. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time.